Welcome to how fix it and this video will show you how to replace the battery on iPhone 11 Pro Max. What tools you need to disassemble the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Screwdriver set, plastic mediator, section cup for removing display, tweezers, plastic opening tool, adhesive tape for restore water protection and adhesive silicone tape for the battery. In the description under the video you will find links where to buy all these tools and replacement parts for iPhone 11 Pro. Turn off iPhone before disassembling. Remove two screws near lighting port with a 0.8 mm Pentalop screwdriver. Take a hair dryer and heat the display surface for 1 or 2 minutes at temperature of 60 or 70 degrees Celsius. Fix the section cup on the bottom of display and pull up the ring until there is a gap between the display and housing. Insert mediator and disconnect the display from the iPhone case on all sides. At the top of iPhone do not push the mediator much into the case, so as not to damage the elements of the Face ID model. The case opens like a book, the display to the right side. Remove two screws on small panel and six screws on large panel. First, disconnect the battery cable and after the cables of the display. To replace the battery in the iPhone 11 Pro Max, you need to remove the three silicone tapes from under the battery. One tape is located near the Taptic engine, so let's start by removing the Taptic engine from the housing. Remove four screws on the metal panel and remove it. Under the metal panel there is a second battery cable. First turn it off and after turn off the Taptic engine cable. Remove two screws with a Phillips screwdriver and one screw with a 1.5 mm standoff screwdriver. Now you can remove the Taptic engine from the housing. Remove three screws on the metal panel, then remove it and disconnect the cable from the iPhone motherboard. Let's begin to remove silicone tape. Take tweezers and peel off the edge of silicone tape. Now pull silicone tape away from the battery. If the silicone tape is torn and remains under the battery, there is nothing critical. Now I remove the last tape and show you how to solve this problem.
one tape torn and hold the battery. Take any tool and press the battery from side where is no tape. Now you have two options. You can add a couple of drops of isopropyl alcohol under the battery where the adhesive tape remains. Or you take a hairdryer and direct warm air under the battery. As you can see, the battery removed without any damage. In the description you will find link where to buy new battery for iPhone 11 Pro Max. The new battery also need to be glued to the iPhone back housing. Uh, this sticker is the same size as the battery, so you only need to peel off the film and stick it evenly on the top of battery. Now press the sticker on top, so it will be stick better. the iPhone 11 Pro Max assembled and now you can connect the display and check how smartphone works before final assembly. To check the iPhone just connect three display cables and battery cable, but only in that order first connect display cables. Check how iPhone works, and if all function works fine, you can begin to the final assembly of iPhone with restoration protection against water and dust. Remove the silicon adhesive tape from the iPhone back housing. Using isopropyl alcohol and cotton swab, you can wipe the back housing. This is not necessary, but it will not be superfluous. Before attaching your adhesive tape, make sure that you glued the right side on the back housing. 
This silicone tape restores resistance to water and dust. This doesn't provide 100% waterproof for your iPhone, but without this sticker the display will not hold well and dust will get inside your iPhone. In the description you will find link where to buy such a sticker. Press the sticker on top, so it stick better to the case. Let's begin to connect the display. Uh, first, connect three cables of the display, then battery cable, and only this order. Install the panels and fasten screws. Turn the display over and push it to the case. Fasten two screws near light and port and you can turn on iPhone. That's it, I hope this video was useful for you and I helped restore your iPhone 11 Pro Max. See you soon on how to fix it.